Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to do a recording of yourself in Google Slides. So I have a sample presentation here. I'm going to go up to this record button that's right underneath the chair button and click there and click on the option to record a new video. It's going to pop up and it's going to ask you permission to use your microphone. So you want to say allow and it's going to ask permission to use your camera. You're going to say allow. And if for some reason pops up and says access to camera and microphone are blocked, it will warn you. Um, you would click on the little icon that appears here, which will look like little slider toggles, and you could turn on camera and microphone access. So just a quick walkthrough of the controls here for recording your slideshow. Um, you have a button here which lets you control where your little camera image is going to appear on the screen. So if the picture in picture is blocking something on your slide, you can move it to a different spot. You can move it to any of the four corners or to the center. This button lets you choose the size of your picture in picture. So it can be small, medium, or large so that your audience can see you. Um, remember good uh, video best practices. You wanna have good lighting. So you want lighting to be coming from in front of you, not behind you. Um, and of course, be aware of what's behind you, um, that it doesn't look, you know, unprofessional or sloppy or whatever. Um, you do also here have the option to blur your background if you prefer to do that, and it'll take a second to take effect. All right, quick look at the other controls here. If you use speaker notes in your slideshows, you can click here and it will open the speaker notes in a separate window. Um, if you're using speaker notes, you can just navigate from here as you do your presentation. Um, your recording will not show this other screen um, where your speaker notes are. Uh, there aren't any speaker notes in this presentation, but if I had any, they would be in this white panel here. This right here is an indicator of um, whether your microphone is working. So do a little test into that and make sure you see movement. This turns your microphone on or off. This turns your camera on or off if you wanted to um, hide it for a second um, to show the slide better or if you just want to record your voice and not have your face showing. Um, this shows you that you have a maximum of 30 minutes of recording time. It is not recording when you first click that link. It won't start recording until we hit the record button. And then if you need to choose a different microphone or a different camera, you'll use this little gear icon um, to choose which microphone and which camera it's going to have access to. All right, uh, I always recommend before you go ahead and record your entire slideshow that you record a little snippet and watch it back to make sure that it sounds good and it looks good. So um, do a little test recording before you go through the whole slideshow because you don't want to have to redo it. So when you're ready to record, you got everything set how you want it, you're going to click on start recording. It's going to ask you to give permission um, for the site to be able to look at this tab. You're going to click allow. Then it's going to give you a little countdown. And now it's recording. You notice the icon has changed to a little stop icon. And you can go through your slideshow here and just talk through if you need to move your image at any point to help them see something better on the slide, you can. Or if you need to change the size of it, you can during the slideshow. Um, you can also go back if you need to. So you're just going to talk through your whole slideshow um, and when you get finished you're going to click the stop button. Now it gives you the option in the corner to re-record so if you weren't happy with how that went and you just want to start over you can do that or to save to drive. So I'm going to click save to drive and it's going to go through several steps here. It's going to up upload um, it's going to kick me back out to my main slideshow and show me that the recording is processing in my Google Drive. And then when it finishes, it's going to show me um, the name of it. It's going to default to be named the same as your slideshow. And then you have options here. You can rename it if you want to, like if you did two different versions. Um, you can remove that recording or you can copy the link to that recording. So before we can copy that link and be ready to share that, we need to make sure that the video is actually shared so that anyone can view it. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to click on that 
title or that name, it's going to open up the recording um, in a new tab, and then I'm going to click on the share button. Notice it says private only to me. So if I were to share the link immediately, nobody would be able to look at that video except for me. So click on share. You want to change general access at the bottom to anyone with the link. You'll notice it changes to a green um, globe here. And then you can copy the link. That's the link that you want to share and click done. Notice up here in the share, instead of having a little lock icon, it now has a globe that's showing you that there's global access. Anybody in public can view your video. Um, so now my video is ready to share.